Hello everyone, and welcome to what I believe is episode 4 of my Java game tutorial. I know I promised we would start the world generation, but this episode is mostly just going to be a short one. Just a little bit of cleanup. And I will also explain to you how my algorithm, well, it's not even an algorithm, it's just kind of randomization, is going to work. So, to start this off, in the tools, in the loader, right here, when we do this, that is what we don't want. We want to change this to null. Okay? Simple, simple stuff. Okay. And also, we want to add our grass tile and our dirt tile. So, let's do that. So, let's create a new class. Call this grass tile. There we go. Let's make it extend tile. And there we go. So, for the constructor here, we won't need the image. We won't need the is solid. And we won't need the tile type. We just need the x and the y. Now the image is going to be equal to a new loader dot load oh make sure we import the loader dot load resource the path is going to be grass and the file type is going to be png make sure you put that in quotes this solid is going to be false grass is not a solid tile you can walk through it and the tile type is going to be tile type dot grass there we go now one small thing that you may notice is this new loader now it's not the most effective thing but the loader is such a small class that it does not matter um, if you really want you can just like create one loader a static loader in main but this is the way I'm gonna do it so sorry if you do not like it anyways now let's create our dirt. So we're gonna create a new class called this dirt tile. There we go. Let's go into the grass tile. Let's copy this over to here. We're gonna have to change a few things. We're gonna make sure it, it extends tile. And we're also gonna change it to constructor. Now instead of grass it's gonna be dirt it's gonna be true even though this does nothing yet and it will be changed later and tile type dot grass has to be changed to tile type dot dirt there believe it or not it took us about two minutes to add two tiles to our game which i think is amazing so all of our little bit of cleanup is done so now what we can do is I will explain to you how our terrain generation will work. Okay, so now I am in the amazing software known as Paint.net. So this is our screen. This is our world right here. Um, this is where all the magic will happen. So how we're going to do it is we're going to specify the width. Oh, there we go and the height of the map. Now we're gonna loop through all of those and all of them we are going to place a new tile. So there will be a whole bunch of these just all the way that way and down but I think you get that. Now it's gonna need to know what kind of tile to spawn so the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna create a random okay and this random is going to spawn four numbers or c create four numbers if this number is equal to zero we lay dirt if it's equal to any of the others we lay grass so that way dirt has a one in four chance of spawning So this is not an algorithm i know and it won't look amazing i mean it'll just be like polka dots but Believe me, we will get into terrain generation algorithms, and it will be hard to follow along, so I want to move that near the end of the tu tutorial, where everybody will have an equal knowledge of Java, and will be able to follow along. So, 
that is all for this episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And in the next episode, I promise, we will get world generation done. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you all in the next episode.